the topic of discussion in this video how to find the range of trigonometric functions for example we have a question fx is equal to 2 plus 5 sin x and we have to find the range of this trigonometric functions firstly one thing you should remember the domain of any trigonometric functions whether it is sin x or it is cos x it is always a real number why because we put any value of x for example sin 30 degree we got 1 by 2 sin 45 degree we got 1 by root 2 all the functions all the values are real numbers so either the value of sin x either the value of cos x domain of both of them is always a real number now what is the case when we have the value sin 2x or sin 5x it doesn't create any problem Again, its domain is always a real number. Whether it is cos 2x, whether it is sine, sorry, cos 5x, any number. So, always the domain is the real number. That means all the values are real. Now, what is the range of these values? That means whenever we plot the graph, the graph of sine x increases. And graph of cos x is in this way. So its maximum value is plus 1 and its maximum value is minus 1 for any values of sin x. Similarly, the maximum value is plus 1 and minimum value is minus 1 for any value of cos x. So the range of sin x in cos x is always lies between minus 1 to 1. Okay, this is the range for the sin x and cos x. Now we apply these uh, concepts in order to find the range of these types of questions, whether it is again the real number or its value lies always between minus 1 to 1 or something else. Now if we have this question, the domain for this question is the real number. Okay, now we have to find the range for this one. So, as we know, the value of sin x is always lie between minus 1 to 1. Okay, the range of the value of sin x lies between minus 1 to 1. So, we have here sin 3x. So, we can write it as it is sin 3x. Its value always lies between minus 1 and 1. Similarly, as the value of sin x lies between 1 to minus 1. Now, there is a value of 1. So, we multiply 5 on all the sides. We get minus 5. Here also, we get 5. Sin 3x. Similarly, 5. Okay. That means, we multiply 5 on all the three sides. Because there is 5. Now, we have to add 2 plus. Okay. Now, we add 2. Here also we add 2 plus 5 sin 3x. Here also we get 5 plus 3. So its value become minus 3. 2 plus 5 sin 3x. Here we get 7. So this value function, the value, it lies from minus 3 to 7. So its range, it is Greater than or equal to. So we write these values in square bracket and we get minus 3 to 7. So in this way, we find the range of trigonometric functions. One more question I am going to explain to you. Now, in this trigonometric function, we have the trigonometric value of cos x. The equation is in the form of cos x. So again, domain here is all the real numbers. Now, in order to find range, 
we know the value of cos x lies between minus 1 to now we have minus 3. So my, multiply it by minus 3. Minus 3 cos x and here 1 into minus 3. So what we get 1 minus 3 cos x and here minus 3. That means the value of this is always less than or equal to minus 3 or greater than or equal to now what we all we have, have two also. Now so add two, two plus one here two minus three cos x. Similarly two minus three. What we get three and here we get two minus three cos x and here we get minus. Three. So this value of function lies between three and minus one. That is it must be less than or equal to minus one or its value is greater than or equal to 3. So, its range is from minus 1 to 3. So, in this way, we find the range of different trigonometric functions. Now, one more question. Now, if the trigonometric function contain both of them, sin x and cos x, then how will we solve them? In order to solve these type of equations, let 3 is equal to r. Here it is sin x. So it is r cos alpha. Let 4 is equal to r sin alpha. Substituting both the values, we get r cos alpha sin x minus r sin alpha cos x. And here we get which is equal to sin a cos b minus cos a sin b that means we have the formula r sin x minus alpha. Now what is the value of r? We have to find the value of r. So when we square both of them and add them, what we get? p square is equal to r square cos square alpha and here we get 4 square is equal to r square sin square alpha. Now add both of them. We get p square plus 4 square is equal to r square sin square alpha plus cos square alpha, which is ultimately 1. So we get 9 plus 16 is equal to r square. That is the r value of r is 25, then it is 5. So substitute this value of r over here. So our equation becomes 5 sin x minus alpha. Okay. From here, we find a different value of range and the domain is again real number because it is 5 sin x minus alpha. So, value of sin x or cos x domain for that is real number. So, its domain is real number and now we have to find the range. Now, the range for 5 sin x minus alpha. Now, as we know, the range of sin x always lies between minus 1 to sin x to 1. Now it is x minus alpha. So we write sin x minus alpha. It is always in between minus 1 to 1. When we write it over here, there is no change in minus 1 and 1. Now here it is 5. So multiply it again with 5. And here we get 5 sin x minus alpha. And it is always so, its range lies between minus 1 to 5. So, it is, there is always a greater than or equal to sign. So, its range is minus 5 to 5. Now, there